ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode, I believe, 39, actually, after I released the Amity Airfield, of the Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic playthrough. Today, we have an episode, Bumbly Bazaar. Now, this level is to achieve a monthly profit from food, drink, and merchandise sales of at least $1,000. Now, this level, I can beat this in under a minute if I wanted to. Um, but I just kind of think that would kind of suck for a video. So what I'm actually going to do is, surprisingly, I'm actually going to play this level until it completes itself. That's the goal right now. I'm going to leave all these food stalls here. I hope they're enough to win. I will probably add some more, and I don't think there's any toilets or any information kiosk, maybe. So I'll put those in, and then... At a very random time in this park, it's just going to complete itself, I think. So if I'm in the middle of building a big-ass ride, I will apologize because it will just probably just suddenly end. And I'm going to do that as the path. I'll put a second one behind it, actually. I might as well. But yeah, the way you win this is you basically just start the game, put information kiosks in, $20 the umbrellas, and then go from there. I'll put another one in over here. So it's a little easier to put in there. Open that one as well. And then let me... I don't know if I want to have just the stalls all here. You know, they're very spread. But I'll put a few toilets. They're only going to make me like 20 cents a pop here. But then I'm going to try and just build a ride immediately. Just in case the park wins in like 20 minutes from now. I don't know how... The video will basically explain how long the park's going to end up being. Uh, if I can build at least one good ride, I'll be pretty happy with that. And then we'll just go from there and see how long it takes uh, or whatnot. I don't want to start the next one. I guess I'm just going to do the next part. Two separate videos, of course. But yeah. Right, ride-wise, let's just begin with... I'll just throw in the usual, like, little humble rides. I'm going to put all the rides away from, like, that weird, like, area at the beginning. Because I think if I place rides separately, it should hopefully be a little better for me. Uh, it's also, I haven't checked much in this park right now. Let me go check what's actually going on here. Uh, you want to go home? Then go home, then, bro. I have no rides in the park, basically. So if I put a twist over there, I'm going to put a crooked house here. And then I will put another couple of frill rides in. And then I will do some other things. So yeah, the, the actual rides, like these ones I've got here, the crooked house, these won't count towards, obviously, the tickets. Hold on, let me slow that down. Um, but they're just basically just put some rides in the park. Actually, we'll put the merry-go-round right here. Might as well humbly put him there. Bang, bam, and we're good. And boom, 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 boom. But yeah, I saw it was actually three weeks since my last video uh, after Amity Airfields. I'm trying... I, I find myself really busy in real life, and then when I'm playing RuneScape... And my goals on RuneScape take so long to complete uh, that I don't find the time to make these videos. But I definitely can find the time if I just kind of discipline myself to make them. So today I actually ended my live stream a bit early, just under the 8-hour mark. So it was still a good stream. Uh, this is a RuneScape stream, by the way. Uh, so if any of you actually watch me purely for Roller Coaster Tycoon, no, I do not stream Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, I may eventually. Um, but for now, not really. Right, let me just put this on maximum funding. I am going to build myself a hyper twister and I'm going to build myself a... Well, this park is massive, bro. I'm actually wondering, like, I think the last time I beat this scenario, I beat it by making it really easy. Basically, all you do is close all the shops and open them all when everyone's hungry. And I must have beat it in seconds. But now I'm at a point where I'm wondering, like, how hard is this park to actually win if I don't just do something like that, you know? Right, let's sweat this out. I'm going to go with a nice... Just a regular turn. Let's go for a big one anyway. I'm going to go to zero feet. Let's spam all the way up. I'm going to take the maximum loan just for this one ride. Okay. Oh, my God. What is this park, bro? It's like the super easy mode. I want a bit of a... I want to get a big drop in, I think. Um, let's try 140, maybe. And if we go... 135 I could do, or I go even higher. Let's go even higher. We go to 150. Or is my math incorrect? Raph is wrong. 155. It's not a vertical drop. I do like vertical drops on these ones quite a lot, but I am just going to start with this right here. 
And what we'll do that's a bit different from my previous parks is I might actually... Hold on, I want to get this to look nice. Oh, could I touch it? I think I could touch it down in the water almost perfectly here. Uh, no, not that. I'm going to take this ride all the way around the park. Uh, normally what I do is I just build a beast and that's it. But this one, I'm just going to build it all the way around this park and just have a bit of fun with it. Um, I've got a lot of space. So it's going to look pretty ugly when it's done. It already looks pretty ugly, but yeah, it looks pretty horrendous, doesn't it? But that's not the point. The point is that this ride is going to be a behemoth. And I need to try and get it out of... I'm actually just not going to do any vertical drops. Let's put it at 110. But I want to try and get it out of being... Like, not touching the ground. So, again, I'm back on five feet here. I'd rather get it to zero. That's just how I like to play the game. But let's just do this instead because it's more fun. Whee! All good. Again, if I suddenly win, then the ride is in the bin. And you guys will never see it again. Let's do it now, actually. So, if I go down regulars, that doesn't get it. That 30 will get me there, though. That's good. Um, Put out the bottom of the hill. So the ride's going to come over quite quick here and get kind of ripped down. So I probably should change the top of that to the normal and just double smooth it, which I think would fit. Let me uh, sip my drink. Mm. Decided to pour myself a nice bourbon. It's Friday night tonight when I'm recording this video. This video is probably going live maybe like Tuesday or something. I don't know. I'm very close to building. My RuneScape video comes out tomorrow, which is Saturday. And I'm actually very close to getting another RuneScape video completed. Just simply because I managed to get the footage quite quick. And any time I can get footage quick makes me very happy. Because then I can get another video out. Which is fantastic. I'm going to do a small... I'm going to just kind of do it through the center. Yeah. Let me go all the way back. I'm going to add one little piece here. Because some RuneScape videos, like, they can take me... Hundreds of hours to build even a single video. Um, but then, like, if I can get the footage quick... Then, obviously, the video's done a bit quicker, and that's... Uh, I mean, I know what I'm talking about, right? I've had one sip of the bourbon, and suddenly I don't know what I'm talking about. It's more like some videos can take me, like, hundreds of hours to get those final clips and all that. But then sometimes I can basically have 99% of a video completed, where the only final thing I need is the final clip. And when I get a video to that final clip after only playing for a few days, that is very, very good. And that's where I am at the moment. Oh, you stupid pathway. Right, you know what's going Goodbye, sir. It was a pleasure having you, Mr. Pathway. But you've been deleted, my bro. Oh, ho, ho, ho. It's fine. We always have the backups. Uh, we'll go up to... I mean, will it make all this? Still be all right. Yeah, so RuneScape videos, I can, like, have... I mean, to be honest, the reason why the RuneScape videos, or there haven't been many recently, is basically because I was playing the God of War game. And I'm recording another God of War tomorrow, if I can. And get that one out whenever I can, which should be good. Right, let's change this to eight cars. I'm not going to have many guests in this park, so let's just go with two trains of... No, let's go with three trains of nine. I'm not going to fill any of them, to be honest, but let's just see what we get. Okay, Hyper Twister. I don't build these often because I don't normally get them. But I've got... Oh my god, that cost me 35,000. Let's watch him, bro. Max speed of 73. Absolutely beautiful and then i'm gonna zoom out one just so we can see this a bit nicer uh speeds are at the top or just over there still hitting 67s beautiful little roll down here very high high medium would be my prediction on this ride sir stats it should make everything first try i could make it a lot bigger uh but when i build a big ride like how is that thirty-five thousand, bro it's not even that big unless i paid like a hundred percent interest on my loan maybe like the ride ain't even that long to be fair but is what it is is one of those. But yeah, so hopefully uh, this video is going to come out like Tuesday or something. But I might have another RuneScape video out like really, really soon, which is good. Oh, shit. I wasn't meant to do that. Uh, right, you just test. I'll build the queue. Let me fast forward it quickly. I'll send them all out at the nice maximum speed. Off you go. And I will build this queue. I'm not going to build it over the top. And what we've now learned from Amity Airfields is big queues, bro. Big, big queues. Whack him there. And then my path out can be there. And this is not fast forwarding. And I'll charge this, I don't know, we'll just do like $15, make some money. And then go from there. What's the stats? Ooh. Oh, wow, I got some lateral Gs. Surprising. Um, I'm broke, and I can take some of the loan out, so we'll do an advertising campaign with that. And there's a genuine chance I will just suddenly win the game. So let's go there. Advertising campaign for the park. Particular ride is the Hyper Twister. Free food or drink? Absolutely not in this park, my dear friend. 
And the hyper coaster can be called. I'm going to recolor it. Uh, dead drop. That just looks terrible. Let's do dead drop or DD for short. And I'm going to put it full black. Oh, something about a ride that's just fully black looks so nice. And then we'll do like a orange train maybe. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that. It's pretty beautiful. Quite happy. Three grand on the loan there. Let's put these uh, there and let's check what stop shops I've got. And I'm going to build a souvenir stand on the way out just in case, just to boost up the cuddly toy prices. Hopefully there's toy whales there. I'll put that and I'll put a cash machine on my as well. Put a cash machine down here as well. Uh, you can go there. And then I'll also do a... So much here. Hat stall. I'm just going to put everything by this ride. Because if everyone goes to this ride and I have all the hat stalls at the end, maybe I'm just buy stuff. Sunglasses there. I've already got a sunglasses stall, but we'll have another one. T-shirt stall there. Uh, and uh, an information kiosk right there. Right, beautiful. Two Gs off the loan. I did get a circus, so let's put the humble circus in. Um, and I'll put the circus in... This is looking a bit dead down here. Little wooden coaster. We'll build that in a moment. Put that there. That, that there. I'm never going to check how much money my uh, shops are making me at any point. Unless I'm playing the scenario for over like a year and a half of gameplay. Then I will probably have to do that because it would be pretty surprising. But it's just kind of like I just have to wait till people get like hungry or something. Right. One mechanic. Handyman can be here just doing this area. Uh, another dude can be here. Whoa, look at these guys, man. Come on, bro. I'm crowded out there. I'm recording two videos back to back at the moment, by the way. Oh, this area's dead, man. There's no one here. Go buy some sunglasses, you know? Get me my $1,000 of stuff in a month. I wonder how many guests you actually need when they created this park. How many guests you actually need potentially to hit that in like one go or something. Wait, the Crooked House? Br no. It's not even open, bro. It doesn't break down this ride. I was going to say right there, the Crooked House broke down. That doesn't happen. I forgot to open it because I'm an idiot and you guys all saw it. So it is what it is. Uh, I'm not even going to build another roller coaster because I got a wooden and I'll just build another wooden, I think. And we'll leave it be and let Dead Drop make us all the money. Uh, 44000 an hour on this big boy, mate. Wait for the full load. You can have the abstract entrance. I would build some supports uh, out there and make it look a bit nicer. But yeah, like if you look at the ride, I feel like big rides like this, I don't like to build them early. They're just too exposed. They don't really do anything. Whereas something in like a park of realism, I can build. What is going on here, bro? Oh, they're all trying to go in the twist and they're all just bouncing backwards, aren't they? I can delete that. I think that should hopefully fix it. I hope anyway. Advertising campaign for Dead Drop has expired. I am going to do it absolutely again. Hyper coaster, the worst coaster in the game because everything is a freaking hyper coaster, but better. Uh, I could do free rides on the dead shop, actually. Wow, that's making me so. Oh, it broke down! It instantly got fixed, mate. Okay, you right there, mate. Your new job is dead drop and dead drop only, sir. You are qualified to only go into this area and immediately fix the ride. And I'm actually going to set the inspections to 10 minutes. Now, look at all these shirts and stuff being sold. Come on, that's going to be a thousand, like two seconds, I bet. All right, um, I'm just going to sit here and pay off the loan, I guess, and just see if the game randomly decides to win itself. Hmm. Wait, I sorry. You know how I said I wasn't going to look? My shop sales are 1,000. Shop stock minus. It's have to be a profit because I've just realized that I already kind of hit it. But then I guess it has to be monthly profit from food or drink. Oh, from food or drink. Okay, that might take a while. I didn't know if merchandise counted. Um, yeah, this could actually take a while. I am going to actually keep... Oh. Wait, was it a thousand? Sorry, let me read this thing. Right, I, I earned shop sales 1,860. Shop stock minus a thousand. Because I got 1,000 here, so maybe I should have won in July. Food and drink sales minus stock. 
Oh, it shop sales minus that, and it's these two added though. These two added minus those two, so these two added is twenty two hundred minus just under twelve hundred. So that was actually very close. However, that is Bumbly Bazaar done. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the creation of the Dead Drop roller coaster. But that is that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Fifteen minutes long. Just because this video is short, all I'm going to say is the next video will be out tomorrow. There will be two roller coaster videos back to back. And that video, my friends, will be, and I quote, Whispering Cliffs. And this one, oh, this looks horrible to play. This could be a Rage VV. However, 200,000 part value, end of year three. No problem, let's get to it. Thank you for watching. See you all tomorrow with the next video.